Hello everyone, it's Catherine from my hillside garden. I didn't want you to think I hadn't started anything. So here's just a short little look at what I have on my grow shelf this year. I'm starting a little bit slow. I want to see what I can get started in the least amount of space. So I started quite a few of my onions peppers. I believe there's some lettuce toward the back over, let's see, where are we? Over here. And there's parsley right there. And I think for right now, we have some peppers and onions. And I also did start, I started them in these, I believe they're two by two squares because I don't want to have as many grow lights going this year. I'm trying to save on electricity. So I thought if I started them and let them get to the point where it's time for transplant once their true set of leaves comes in, it will help me to not use so much grow lights. Here's some baby bok choy. I had thought I would be able to get them into the low tunnel but this weather just has been so crazy. Um, I still might try. I'm going to pull that tray out so you can get a better look at it. But there are the onions that I transplanted. I had such good success last year with um, onions from seed that I really wanted to do it again. So let me get these trays pulled out and I'll show you a bit more. Here are the baby pak choy and I see I need to water in here but they're very very nice then I also have a couple of Nero Tuscana kale and I have two I believe all right th three kinds ay, ay, ay. these are the Elsa Craig over here you know how I am with labels. Sometimes I just don't, I think I'm going to remember and I don't. So all of these from here over are Elsa Craig's. They did good last year. Then I have Walla Walla's. And these are the third onion that I planted, which are sweet Spanish onions. So that's what I have going on so far in the grow room. And I'm very pleased that I'm using some restraint with how many things I plant and too soon and running out of room. I have been utilizing winter sowing a great deal. And it's something that I've done for the past few years and has been rather successful. Not 100%, but successful enough where I've been able to get a good amount of transplants outside without having to plant them in the house. So please be sure to go over and take a look at the videos that I have on winter sowing. Maybe that's something that you might want to try if you don't have a whole lot of room in your house for grow lights or for starting some of the things that can go outside. So oh, let's look at that parsley. That looks like it's coming really nice. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I have been sewing things. It's just I have not been recording what I've been sewing. So I wanted to share with you what I had going on in the grow room. I hope you'll give my video a thumbs up. I love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you've planted already and what zone you're in. Okay? Have a great day. Happy gardening.